to do that. All right, so one more time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our weekly Essential Island Living Team Call. This is our last team call of 2021. So crazy. I think we should just celebrate ourselves for a second that we survived this year. And um, and I believe as a community came out stronger than ever. And I'm really wishing you and your family a lot of just health and happiness um, in this new year and moving into 2022. Um, and so tonight we have a really, I think, great team call where we're really going to um, think about where we're at in this business, reflect on our year in 2021 and set our intentions and goals moving into 2022. And then we're going to share what we have as um, support for you in this community and um, as, as well as for your customers. So without further ado, I just ate Simon and I'm sweating. So I need to go get a rubber band. I'm going to turn it over to Kanan's. I'll go ahead and um, share my screen. And she's just going to kind of recap those, some of the promos and talk about myrrh before we get started. Cause that's um, an oil that we don't know quite as much about. So, okay. Let me share my screen. And Hi guys, happy everyone could be on tonight. So nice to see your beautiful and handsome faces. So we all know the month is ending and we have this awesome promo, 200 PV promo. So if you didn't do your order yet, which I'm pretty sure most people have, but if you, for whatever reason, if your order is not going until the 30th, um, you can take advantage of this. You can still take advantage of um, this 200 PV promo, which we're gonna talk about on the next slide. But I wanna just talk about myrrh. Um, this is an oil I don't use often. I use it actually um, on Cody when on his, his umbilical cord, when they cut his umbilical cord. Sorry, Lies, can you go back? Um, thank you. Yeah, so that's when I use myrrh the most, but I thought this was a great time to talk a little bit about myrrh in case you got this and you're like, okay, now what? What do I do? What's the big deal about myrrh? So many awesome uses, as you can see there, but I'm actually going to read from my book, the Essential Life book. And myrrh has many properties. So anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antimicrobial, microbial expectorant, anti-infectious, anti-fungal. So it's really amazing that it has all those properties. It blends well with frankincense, lavender, neroli, and sandalwood. It is safe to use neat. So meaning you don't need to necessarily dilute. You can use it straight, straight on. Um, so there's a few suggestions uh, in this book. Some top uses is digestive upset. You can apply over your tummy or take internally in a capsule. Um, for eczema and wounds, you can apply right to the area of concern. Um, infection or virus, take in a capsule and apply to the bottoms of your feet. Congestion and mucus, you can apply to the chest and also diffuse. It will clear up the, um, it will open your airways and clear up or dry up congestion. So that's just a few ways. Um, perfect for meditation by taking deep inhales just as we did. And um, as far as the emotional use of it, it provides emotional balance. So aromatically and topically to kind of get you um, just balanced and more grounded. So I'm actually going to start using myrrh more. I feel like I need emotional balance <laughs> coming off of Christmas, going into the new year. So keep that nearby. I feel like this would be a great oil to start incorporating 
daily. Um, and if you have already used Mer and love it and using it daily, share in the chat on how you're using Mer. All right, so the next slide, we are gonna talk about topping off your order. So if you did an order and you can share this with um, your teams, um, your customers, um, if they did, let's say 125, 150, and they wanna order a few more things, you can top off your order. And doTERRA will um, acknowledge that and send you these three freebies. You have to contact customer service or chat online, which I find is easier just doing online chat. And um, then they will make sure to combine your order and send you your freebies. Um, another amazing thing is that you can do the, this 200 PV promo up to four times. So if you did in the beginning of the month, a 200 PV promo and got the three freebies, you can do it again before the month ends if you want to. Um, it is the only way to get the holiday love and I love, love, love this oil. So um, I'm actually thinking about doing another 200 PB order because I don't know if they'll bring it back. We hope, we hope so, but it's kind of been my new favorite. And then I stopped using it because I don't want to use my whole bottle. So um, up to four times, that's another reminder. And then you'll get your freebies and you can kind of hoard it till next December. Um, any questions? No, frankincense, myrrh, and holiday love is the three freebie oils in a 5 ml. Thanks for Fraser for um, sharing in the comments that myrrh is really great for cracked and sore nipples during a breastfeeding. Um, there was a lot of people in the community group that felt like they didn't know how to utilize this oil. So please keep those suggestions coming um, so that we can encourage people to get this oil for free this month. Um, all right. So just a quick reminder that if you haven't signed up yet, and I'll go ahead and post the link in the, um, I'll post this link in the comments right now. This is totally free. Um, I love this lady. She's really knowledgeable. And even if you attended previously, it's still really great to hear this information again. So, oh, sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. So here's the, um, and I believe if you can't, I don't know if they send out a recording, to be honest. I think it's one of those things where you have to attend live in order to um, get the information. But even if you've attended before, I've had her on once before, I highly recommend that you um, that you attend um, and, and learn more. Uh, we do not give any tax advice. However, that's why we try to bring people like this on so that it can... Uh, support you guys in that area. Okay. Okay. So um, Kanani is going to take us through some reflection here in a second, but I just kind of wanted to go over the difference between a builder versus a sharer. And the reason why I really wanted to do this is because um, the next set of reflection questions are going to kind of have you reflecting on your year in 2021 with the business. And part of it is sort of recognizing whether you are a builder or a sharer currently and what you want to be, what's your intention for 2022. And um, I just want to say there's no, there's absolutely no judgment about what you want to be in this business. I think what's really important is that you're honest with yourself about where you're at in this business so that you don't have unrealistic expectations of results, right? So sometimes we think that we're builders or we're building, but our actions are not actually matching that label or that goal that we have, right? And then in that case, you might be a sharer and for some of us, we might not even be sharers. Like some of us might still be working towards being a consistent sharer. So I just wanted to kind of review this. This is not an exhaustive list. This also doesn't encompass everything 
Um, however, this is what I gleaned from a lot of like the diamond group and the blue diamond group. And then also what I felt um, reflects a builder and share. So if there's anything that you think I'm missing, put it into the chat, okay? So a builder commits to placing a 100 PV order and earns a commission. If you are a builder, you are consistently earning a commission. And one of the reasons why you're consistently earning a commission is because you're earning fast start. A builder is actively enrolling people in this um, with a wholesale membership and helping to get them on LRPs, which means that you are actively making fast start commission. Um, that means every single week you're getting a paycheck. So if you are getting a paycheck every single week from doTERRA, you are definitely in the builder category because you're placing a 100 PV order and earning a commission. If you're attending and not only attending, but contributing to our weekly team calls and the community calendar and teaching classes, you are a builder. Kanani kind of reminded me of something earlier tonight when we were working on this was that, you know, early, I mean, the community calendar really became a result of the pandemic, right? Prior to that, we had done everything in person. And Kate Kanani and I would kind of just rotate classes at each other's houses. Um, and, and then because our team on Oahu grew and all over and the pandemic, we, we implemented the community calendar. But prior to that, it was just us teaching classes, right? So you're a builder if you're attending these calls, but also contributing to them. So making an effort to do product education, to do some sharing of the business, um, if you feel like you haven't had an opportunity, please know it's an open invitation. We welcome people to step up and, and share and contribute. Um, you're enrolling wholesale customers and wellness advocates alike. So um, a builder is actively enrolling customers, but also actively enrolling other people that want to share and build. You're having and holding mentor calls. So you really, if you're a builder, want to be having a weekly or every other week, like with Kate and Kanani, I have every other week mentor calls with them. They've sort of graduated from me, although I think they like to think they still need me. Um, and so, and it also means that you are having mentor calls with people as well. You are building a community, your own community. Everyone is a part of a central island living community. We're all part of the visionary leaders community, but you are also actively building your own community and you're actively engaged in pipes, right? Um, and you know what the acronym for PIPE stands for, preparing, inviting, presenting, enrolling, supporting at least four to five days a week or with some level of consistency. Now a sharer is also committed to placing a 100 PV order. However, they may enroll and they may earn a commission. Um, Sharers sometimes make a commission because they might be like in a, a $50 power of three spots or, um, you know, sometimes enrolling so they're making fast start sharers may host classes or they're inviting to classes on the community calendar they may attend the team call they want to share more with their friends and family they're not necessarily interested in um moving outside of that warm market but sharers are amazing we love sharers because they're active members of the community they attend ongoing product education and classes and so forth so i just wanted to kind of take a minute to revisit the differences between these two. And again, there is zero judgment about what category you fall in. And maybe right now you're not even in either of these categories. But as you reflect back on 2021 and you set intentions and goals for 2022, I think it's really important that everyone is pretty clear on what we're defining for our community as a builder and a sharer. Are there any questions, any feedback? Feel free to unmute yourself or type it into the chat. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and move on. All right. Okay. So here you go, Kanan. You take it away. All right, guys. I thought that this would be a perfect time to just reflect. Um, I, I think writing this down writing your thoughts down on paper is a good idea. Um, that way you know how you ended the year and you also know what you're looking towards for the new year, whether you're a builder 
or a share. So if you have your notebook nearby, um, pen or pencil, something like that, um, I would I would grab something to write with. Um, just because I really want these questions to kind of hit you in a deeper way. Um, if you're not about wanting to write, just close your eyes and really take it in. I, I reflected a lot on these questions earlier today, and I thought that this might be great for all of us. So I want you to think about this year, 2021, and on a scale of one to five, how did you show up for your business? One being, uh, maybe I'll show up today, I don't know. Or, you know, five being, yes, I'm here. I'm doing it every day. I'm doing all the things I want to grow my business. Okay, number two, what do you feel are your strengths? And I know we've, most of us have done a strengths test um, and areas of celebration. So example, I'm not talking about that kind of strength. Example would be like communication with your team members on education, communication and mentor calls with your upline or leaders on your downline. Um, taking advantage of opportunities on the team calendar. Like, what do you feel your strengths are and areas of celebration? Okay. Um, what do you feel you need to work on or needs improvement? All right, guys, stay with me. We just got a couple more. Okay, thinking about all of this, how you answered questions one, or question one, two, and three, what do you, uh, do you consider yourself a builder or a sharer? Where do you fall? And moving into the new year, what do you want to be? I know this question can, I know that question can be a little tricky. I will say that only because um, if you are in a role and you are a premier, let's say, and you have a golden leader that's, you know, that that's above you, that's your upline. You, this is really a question, you know, this becomes a little bit of a difficult question because you really should fall in a certain category. Okay, and last, how can you maximize your business to its fullest potential in 2022? What are some of the things that you can do, especially if you want to move from sharer to builder? How can you maximize your business to its fullest potential? Right. I don't know if anybody wants to share. I know some of this gets deep. Um, that's kind of the purpose. When we did um, 
when Liza and I went to an incentive trip in Mexico, one of the, they have classes at night for us, like these little breakout groups. And one of my favorite, favorite breakout group was, um, gosh, I can't even think of her name. I can see her face, but she took us to the, through these series of questions and I got pretty emotional. Um, so anybody want to share? Anybody want to be a little open tonight? I can go, Kanani. Sure. Okay. So I just put the first question was on a scale from one to five. Oh my gosh. I think I'm, we're at a five. Like we totally had to show up for our business. Um, it wasn't always easy, but we did. Um, I, I mean, there are sometimes I felt like I was gonna, I'm normally very, very on it and organized, but when I was showing, when, especially the last few months, maybe since September, like really, really showing up for the business, like almost kind of felt like my house was falling apart, but <laughs> the business was like, <laughs> you know, um, and then number two, what do you feel are your strengths and areas to celebrate? I feel like um, just making it happen, like doing my weekly mentor calls, attending these weekly, um, you know, team calls, and then always moving forward and not having excuses. Like you just got to keep going. You cannot like stop and even if it's slow for that day, you just do a little, but just keep doing a little bit every day. And sometimes, I mean, I couldn't, like there might've been a day that I couldn't do anything doTERRA, but I knew on the weekend that that list I needed to catch up. Like there, you have to play catch up at some point. And then for number three, what do you feel you need to work on our um, needs improvement? I think for me, it's not stressing out just breathing and not getting so hard on myself. Um, and then like, sometimes I still feel like I get not shame, but like, oh, I don't want to bother people to invite them. But then if I don't, I'm not, um, what is that word? It's like, I'm not spreading the good news of doTERRA if I don't open my mouth and share. And then definitely a builder. Um, and what do I want to be in 2022? Well, definitely platinum and a founder. And then what, are, what can you do to maximize your business to its full of, fullest potential? I think it's just continue what we're doing. Mentor calls, 10 enrollments a month at least. And just continue doing all things, utilizing everything and everybody. That's it for me. Thank you. I agree. Totally agree. You guys work your butts off for sure. So thank you so much for being open and sharing. I just want to like touch on real quick. The last part of what Miley said is the utilizing everyone and everybody, everything and everybody. I think that that's one of their biggest strengths is that they maximize everything that the community has to offer. They maximize me as a mentor. You know, they are never afraid to ask for my help or to ask me if I can talk or, and, and I think that a lot of times those are, those opportunities aren't getting maximized, right? The, the events that we offer, the classes that we offer, the support that is offered our Facebook group, I think a lot of those are not maximized. And I think that um, Miley and Jai do that really well. They tap into everything and everyone and everything and everyone, and they're willing to give back, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about how they're going to, to give back to the community too. Um, anybody else want to wanna share? I want to actually call somebody out and I hope they're fine with it. I think she will be because she birthed me and um, she's, 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 she loves me no matter what. So mom, I would really love if you, um, I feel like you're really moving into a new phase of your business, um, a level of commitment that I, I haven't seen before. And I would love for you to 
share if you don't mind. I guess now yeah, you have I, a choice. But <laughs> no, actually, I was raising my hand just as you were calling me. Um, I want to share, um, first of all, I want to say to Miley um, and Jai, I am so appreciative of how you step up and I've been watching you and um, feeling like if they can, I can, <laughs> right? Um, it just, it's very refreshing for me um, to see your energy. And it's not that to take away from anybody else's energy. It's just that I've been able to see something that um, I could relate to. Um, going back to the reflection questions, I think um, about this year on a scale of one to five, how did I show up for my business? Well, honestly, from the beginning of the year, it was a two to three. It was no big deal. And then it changed. Um, and I will tell you about that in a little bit. What do I feel are my strengths and areas for celebration? You know, I, the only thing I can think of is that I am, I just don't give up. In my quiet way, I've been pushing through and I needed to figure out this for my time by myself. Um, and, and what do I feel you need to work on or needs improvement? I think I will bite off more than I can chew. I know in my life that I have been able to accomplish things that never knew I could. And I can see myself doing that now with doTERRA. Um, one of the things that I did to change that, well, here's, here's when it changed. That one meeting that we had online where you guys mentioned, I think you and Kanani and Kate mentioned how many spots were still available. And um, just hearing that 180 spots were still available at the time, I just, you know, I couldn't fathom it. And I, I thought, okay, wait, well, not 180, it was 185, right? Is it 185, 186, 186 spots still available. This is before you became um, um, a founder. And it just clicked, something just clicked and said, I still have a chance. <laughs> and at that point, I had, I think, three points in my back office for founders. And I went, how crazy is that stupid thought that just went through my mind? Sure, you still have a chance, Sherlyn. And I said, no, I still have a chance. And I just kind of made this determining statement to myself. I wanted to do this because now I had let, finally let go mentally and emotionally of working for somebody else, which I've done for a long time. Um, and, and it's okay, it, was, it served its purpose and I'm really happy that I've let go of that. Um, that was the, the beginning point of changing. And Liza and I, being real open with everyone here, Liza and I have had this discussion where, because she and I are daughter and mother, sometimes things can get a little bit, you know, dicey trying to talk to her and I feel um, absolutely um, intimidated by my daughter, <laughs> which a lot of us do, right? So um, don't be giving me hey, that, look hey, that hey. You can speak for yourself. You can't start speaking for everybody else on this call. I'm not speaking for everybody else. I'm speaking for a lot of us. And I can tell you this, there's 32 people on this call. I'm sure that there are at least 10 people that are intimidated by you. Not because you don't make yourself available, but intimidated in the sense that, wow, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can do that, right? Which is so, a, a it's that thought that we have, right? It's just part and parcel with our own lack of, um, belief in ourselves, right? And it's all this mental game. It's all a mental game. And so I, um, so we kind of made this, this thing where it would be good for me to find some kind of mentorship outside of, you know, working with Liza directly at times. Um, and for example, took me two years to really understand power of three. And still to this day, there are some times that I just go, okay, wait, wait. 
power of three, power of three. I mean, really. So what I did was I thought, okay, what's my, what are the, the, um, the tools that I have? And business advancement team was available. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you are on a premiere, you should be calling business advancement team. They are people that want to help you. I have been on calls with them almost every other day asking about stuff and they will find me the answer. They will help me find the answer. They will help me give me some, you know, some things like steps to do like, okay, Sherlyn, what about your 2020 calendar, 2022 calendar? Have you put it up on the wall? Have you put your goals up yet? And that was my assignment, right? It's like, okay, they are there to help if you find the right people. And I'll just let you know, two people that I'm working with are Morgan and Kevin, in case some of you are um, needing names. Super, super nice people, but all of those team members in business advance um, team, they're so willing to help. Um, anyway, um, so it wasn't until September, it just kicked in where I went, I can do this, I can do this. And I started to just share like, like water, you know, just, I need water. It's like talking to people, just wanting to help people's thing. And one of the things I started to do was to share um, aroma touch hand massage with people. And that's how I've been getting my talk story time with people and sharing that moment with them. All of a sudden they start to gush out and talk about what their health needs are. And before you know it, we're talking and by the time I'm done, they're ready to sign up and they're doing a hundred PV order. That's huge, you guys. If you know about um, founders, you need to have, for those points to count for your enrollments, you need to have a hundred PV order for your people. So your enrollment, so just a thought. Um, and then, so now I am, so I was considering myself like a sharer before, but now I'm considering myself as a builder and um, I'm falling short this month, real honestly, with the enrollments that I thought I would have, but that's okay because I've been making strides and pushing myself forward. And um, so maximizing my business to its fullest potential in 2022, builder and founder. That's where I'm going, builder and founder. And I'm okay to say it out loud now. <laughs> And I really wanted to call, yes, I see Kanani clapping. Yay. And I wanted to call on you because you've been with me from the very beginning. And I mean, anybody that knows us knows our love for each other and knows that there are, that there are, that there are challenges. And so my mom, you know, um, it's been good that, that her, actions in the business have not necessarily affected my growth in the business. And that's been really instrumental for our relationship. And she's found her stride and it's, and I'm kind of just watched from a distance and it's really amazing. And what it tells me is it's never too late. You just have to make the commitment and then follow it through. So um, thanks for sharing mom. That's super awesome and you can go read all the comments um adrian go ahead you wanted to unmute and share yeah i figured if uh i'm really gonna do this i should just even though it's not the best report but um yeah i just want to just jump out there i'm probably gonna cry <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's see, reflecting on this past year. Yeah, I would probably say I might be a negative, a negative, maybe a zero for um, really building the business. I mean, I did go to convention that really inspired me. Um, went to GoPro, that's really inspired me. Um, so I do consider myself still a builder, even though my work is not reflecting that. Um, so that's... So yeah, definitely reflecting on 2021, not so good. Uh, strengths, yeah, well, well, I would say I went to convention. <laughs> uh, that definitely switched a lot of things for me. I'm still, I still go on to Facebook to, you know, I still learn things about the business. I'm um, did GoPro and that, 
yeah, so I'm still learning things. And I feel like that's part of my problem as to go into weaknesses is that I, I, I don't do well, I, I know, especially from this year, I don't do well with new things. Like I really like to know like all the steps and so that I can just kind of plug everybody in to the steps. And that kind of blocks me sometimes from, actually that, that's what's been blocking me is there's not, I'm not clear on exactly the next step to put everybody in. And I guess I don't really do well with rejection either. Um, so the, even in like talking to the people that I already have, I still feel like I don't know where to put them next or what to do, or am I bothering them? Or I don't know, so many excuses. Um, but I also did this other thing that I think has really helped me um, just really like listen to the stories that I'm telling myself and really get past some of those kinds of things. So um, yeah, just inconsistency is my weakness. Um, inconsistency, lack of discipline, lack of follow through. I mean, there's just a lot of things that I really, I'm gonna change. No, 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 I'm not gonna change. I'm, it's already starting to change already. Uh, so 2021, well, you got the report. 2022, I, I am a builder. I'm still a builder, even though it, that's not reflecting. So, um, and let's see, what do you feel you need work on? Oh, so many things to feel. The other thing that I want to do, no, I don't want to say want to do. The other thing that I'm going to do is really be more a part of the team and somehow get on the calendar. I'm not quite sure how to do that. So maybe you can tell me that afterwards uh let's see think about all of this in 2021 do you consider yourself yeah i already said that moving into 22 what do you want to be yeah a builder still and how can you maximize your business to its fullest potential in 2022 uh just do it i mean just really make calls and just really forget about all the steps and start doing it and all the steps will open up uh, for me. These, and this is a step right here. This is my first step. Well, not my first step, but a step, another step. So anyway, thanks for letting me share. Thank you for taking a step. And I actually think that your focus more, Marissa wrote in the comments that, um, and I think that this is super true. You are definitely not a negative that we struggle with a lot. We all struggle with a lot of the things that you're sharing. And I think you forget about the beginning of 2021 where you guys hit premiere for the first time and you had a lot of accomplishments this year in this business and then life happens, right? And, and so the fact that you're showing up and that you want to contribute um, that's, that's all that we can ask. And getting on the community calendar is pretty easy. Honestly, you just reach out to somebody and say, I want to teach this class. What's a good day and time that's open or, you know, um, I mean, it's really as simple as just coming up with what you want to do and then asking for a day or time to do it or offering one or two days or times that work for you. And then we'll plug that in. So for instance, um, and we're going to talk about this in a second, but Marissa used to do um, monthly membership overview, lifestyle overview classes, and um, they got taken off the calendar and then I put it back on and I did one a month, but Marissa's committing to two a month again for the community. So she just let Kanani know, she gave her the dates that she's going to do it and the times. And, and so that's now something that we can offer to all of you in the community to offer to, to your customers. So go and read the comments, Adrienne. We love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for being brave and, and taking that step tonight and sharing with us. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and move on unless anyone else is dying to share because I would not want to cut anybody off if they were chomping at the bit. <laughs> I feel like we've had three really powerful examples of people who are saying like, you know, I'm doing all the things, but this is the way I need to improve people that are saying I am finally doing the things. And this is, 
this is who I'm leaning into. Adrienne, I would really highly recommend that you reach out to business advancement, like my mom suggested, and really get in touch with people um, from doTERRA that, that are there to support you as well. Um, yeah, so, okay. Let's go ahead. Thank you all for participating in that and um, really thinking on your business and where it's at and where you want to move forward. So we're going to kind of keep on keeping on. And our next step is to really, this is right out of the Business Builders Guide, pages 13 and 14. So we just thought that um, we should take a little bit of time to write down and we're going to ask as much as possible um, that you write this down or at least think it through in your head and write it down later. If you want, get out your business building guide and update it, um, pages 13 to 14. And I just want to read some of these comments because they're so loving. Like, um, Bernice, you just have the most amazing, you know, thank you for sharing, Adrian, for your honesty and humility, your passion for continuing your learning and growth. Um, to my mom, you're so inspirational. Sherlyn, thank you for sharing your journey of letting go emotionally and mentally and sharing aromatherapy. Um, Ray says the struggle is real, but we do it because we care. And Janice says, and we are all here for each other and we got each other. And I like now I'm going to cry because I, I tell you guys this all the time. Like the, the community that we have is very special and we are here to support you. You just have to reach out and ask for the help and show up for the support, right? And show up for the support. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself and um, let's take a couple minutes. We're not gonna have anybody share these out. These are your personal goals. So you wanna make a 90 day goal, um, a six month goal and a year goal. Um, if you want to tie that to a dollar amount, great. It does kind of make sense to tie it to a rank. And I would also say a power of three goal should go there as well. Um, and then go ahead, oopsie, daisies. I did that earlier to come on. And then go ahead on the bottom and just, you know, how committed are you to reaching your, and, and it doesn't have to be elite. For me, it would be blue diamond and 90 day goal or whatever, right? And, um, and take a minute to do that. So I'm going to mute myself, give us a couple minutes for everybody to work on that.
All right. Just because of time, I hope that was enough for you guys to at least get started on this. And I highly, highly encourage you to revisit this. Um, and and complete it. <laughs> uh, not just this page, but the business builders guide in general. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. And I just want to talk a little bit about empowered building to reach your goals. And so I think for me personally, as sort of the leader of all of this, um, I really want to focus this year on helping to empower you guys um, it, with your businesses. And that really means taking ownership and taking control um, and taking responsibility of your business and what happens in it. Um, we are here to support you. But if you want it to happen, you have to make it happen, right? So here are some opportunities that we recommend for you as far as the business opportunity is concerned. Um, business building guide. Do this, but do the work. I find that this is very, very, I think a lot of the questions I get asked could easily be answered in this guide. Um, and so the thing is, though, you can't just, go through the motions, you have to actually dig in and do the work. And that's what makes it a little bit difficult. We have struggled with for years on onboarding builders into this business. And while I love the BBG, and I think it's really important and everyone should do it and complete it because it's the foundational fundamentals about doTERRA and the business and beyond. My feeling right now at this point is that the easiest program, ready to go program to onboard new builders is oil games. I personally have successfully completed um, Diamond Dash in oil games. That was the only one that I did because I was already a diamond. I wish they had a blue diamond and presidential diamond one. Um but Elise said we talked about at convention that she designed this program to be basically launching a diamond in 12 months. And so it, you know, every rank is two months, a two month program. So reach elite is two months. Premier push is two months. Silver sprint is two months. Um, gold rush, uh, platinum pursuit and diamond dash. And so if you do the work in oil games for those two months, you will rank to that next rank. And it's, I mean, it's all there. If you've done it, it's awesome. I love it. It's that daily accountability. It's the professional development. I do not I do think there's missing gap pieces like that BBG fills in um, the business builder's guide. But if you're looking for yourself to relaunch, to recommit, to get back into daily actions, I cannot recommend oil games enough do oil games, go sign up right now. You probably all have accounts. It's totally free. They start at the first of the month. Every month, there's a new one that starts. So like literally go and roll right now. <laughs> if you need to click off or go to another browser, go to oil games and enroll. And if you are like a shaky premiere, go back in and do reach elite. If you didn't successfully complete a rank, you can go back and um, do it, you know? So um, even if you're a gold, but you never did any of them, maybe you want to go back to silver sprint and do and co successfully complete silver sprint. Um, this is going to tie in and I should have put it next to it, but to the daily method of operation, because this is what they ask you to do. They ask you to invite people. They ask you to, um, follow up with people. They ask you to talk to people about the business and every day you like check in, um, on like a little spreadsheet or like form and say what you completed for that day. And there's little videos that are totally manageable. So I highly recommend sign up for oil games, but like anything else, you, you got to sign up, but you got to do it. Like you got to actually do the work. What's really cool is they do, they have it for every rank up to diamond. Just, yep. Like I mentioned. And um, what's really cool is that like the weekends, they give you off to catch up. So there are like catch up days that are built in. Okay. So um, go ahead. Um, 
And Ed Ray's doing it right now. I know Kanani's doing it or has done it uh, a couple of times in the past. I really love it. And I feel like we've tried a lot of different ways to onboard customer, I mean, builders. And this to me is the best way um, overall. Okay. Um, here are other opportunities. Community calendar, that's going to continue. Kanani and Kate are both um, going to be doing Diamond Club. So they'll have Diamond Club classes on the calendar again. Um, we want to support um, Pure Ohana Wellness and Kanoi Wellness as they embark on another round of Diamond Club. I'm super proud of them for saying yes to that. Um, wellness Weeks with the Vielas. So the Vielas um, are going to be um, spearheading Wellness Weeks. This is something that they did in Aloha Founders Club. And basically, it's similar to an oil study without the um, sampling portion. Okay, so there's more information on this to come. But the Vielas are going to be spearheading this. Now, if you participate, then that's also a commitment to help meaning that you're committing to being active in the group. They typically do a product a day and then the group chat is open from like 4 to 6 p.m. So you're going to be active in that group chat. You're going to be on the call at the end of the week. Um, I forget. They call it like a paina or something or a pauhana call or something, Miley, a paina call. Um, and you're going to be willing to give prizes. If your person wins a prize, you're going to supply the prize and do videos, um, uh, you know, and participate, right? Um, Marissa's coming back with the lifestyle overviews twice a month. There'll be product education and EO 101 classes. The leadership team is meeting after this to plan the community calendar for January. As always, daily method of operation, if you only have 20 to 30 minutes of your business to do, you know, to dedicate to your business a day, you should be focusing on two invites, two follow-ups, two new contacts, two conversations about the business. Um, the daily mentor calls is another free um, opportunity for you in the business. Specifically, I know a lot of you need to find builders we started to do that recruitment blitz and man, the holidays and BOGOs and everything just kind of got us and we weren't really able to see that through as a community. It might be something that we bring back, but um, you can always listen to those 10 calls to find a builder on your own and do the work, right? This is your business. If you want to be successful, you have to do the work and you can tap into the resources that you have like these here and doTERRA, but ultimately it requires you to show up and be willing to just step in and step up, right? Um, the Visionary Leaders Group is doing an entire reset 2020. I posted this pinned post in the customer group. Um, this uh, email is going out to everyone about this tomorrow, okay? So if you want more information, I'm not gonna click here. But again, this is what happens a lot. Tell me more about Reset. No, I'm not going to tell you more about Reset. All of the information is there for you to go learn about Reset. If you want to take advantage of Reset and you want your customers to take advantage of Reset, go ahead and look up that information yourself. Then if you have questions, feel free to ask. I am also not facilitating this. The Visionary Leaders Group is. So I probably wouldn't have a bunch of answers for you anyway, right? So really being empowered in your business means seeking out answers for yourself too, okay? Um, we will be doing a 30 Days of Builders activities in January. These will be posted daily in the Business Builders Group as well as our WhatsApp chat group. Um, just some of them pretty basic, but... Um, if you're feeling like you want to launch or relaunch or launch a builder, like pay attention to those. Those might be something that be, might be helpful. And last but not least, yes, utilize the community calendar, but also you guys have your own classes. Blaze your own trail. I cannot, like my mom took that upon herself to find what was going to be her way to connect with people. And it's been aroma touch, right? You cannot wait around wanting the community or your upline or anyone else to figure out this business for you if it's what you want, you know, and it's really imperative that you feel 
empowered on your own to go out and do what's necessary to be done to be successful. Okay. All right. So, um, Yes, oil games is so good. The 10 builders calls are so good. Again, you can't just listen to the calls though, right? You got to actually do the work and that's the tricky part, right? Um, just a couple of reminders for your customers. Here are some free ways that you can show some customer appreciation and love. Love oils is through daily mentor calls and oil games. Elise said it'd be super free, um, super easy, um, oily education. The home edit is that new course from doTERRA. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go in the Facebook group and search it. Ongoing product education comes from the Facebook group. It comes from our community calendar. We did, the Vielas did spearhead a spoil event. Hopefully we'll bring that back in the next month or two. I cannot stress enough text campaigns, um, whether or not you're using ECC. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's fine. You don't have to know everything, but connecting with people through text and just sending out some education every week is really, really powerful. And then also you guys give customer service through LRP reminders. Today, I just did a use it or lose it points graphic text campaign I probably spent two hours responding to like over 25 texts from people that didn't know that their points expired that didn't know how to redeem their points so in the business builders group on Facebook there's a graphic for how to redeem your points in the pin posts right so I could send them that for people that had never used their points before I told them you know what call doTERRA see if they'll give you some of your points back. And sure enough, like at least four or five of them live chatted in, doTERRA gave them some of their points back, right? And now they know that they have to use their points within a year of earning them, that how to redeem them. So you guys just want to provide customer service. You want to look in your back offices and remind people to update their orders. You want to give them suggestions of products to try, right? New year, people are looking for healthier habits. That's what the Reset 2022 is all about. That top off 200 PV orders. I'll drop the gra that graphic tomorrow in the Facebook group. But Send that out to your customers, right? Go through your back office, go through your orgs, look for people that place smaller orders that didn't take advantage of that 200 PV. Go find a graphic in the Facebook group, that 200 PV promo graphic that talks about each oil, but also talks about how $5 gets donated to the Sinang Specialty Hospital in Somalia land, right? And doTERRA, last I heard, had pretty much already met their goal of $2 million, and every single order makes 200 PV order makes $5, you guys. It's amazing. Okay. So in your business, our businesses are built on customers and it's our job to provide customer service and customer love, right? So you want to find that happy sweet spot of not overwhelming people, but also reminding people about all the opportunities that they have to learn and connect with their oils. So we want to just wrap up for tonight. Sorry, I kind of started going fast because I know the time went a little over. Um, that, oh wait, yes, thank you. Hold on. I, success doesn't happen overnight. It happens with consistent action every single day. It doesn't happen overnight. Consistent action every day single day. Okay. So, yep. Miley says, don't get down. If you can't find a builder, just keep recruiting, keep searching every single day. And if we could just stop real quick, turn on our cameras, if you can, and let's sing our happy birthday to our dear Ray Ray. It's her birthday today. I don't want to lead this song. So unmute yourselves and everybody sing ready. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> My husband decided to jump in and sing too. 
<laughs> oh, we love you, Ray. Thanks for showing up for us on your birthday, girl. <laughs> love you all. Happy birthday. I love these comments, you guys. Jenna, 1% better every day. I think sometimes we get down on ourselves if we don't take massive action every single day. You are way better off taking small, consistent action daily. And honestly, that's why I love oil games. It's a little bit of mindset. And every day is small, tangible, bite-sized action to take. So if you're feeling like you want to do this, whether you share or builder, but you don't know how, you need some more guidance, you need some more structure, go sign up for oil games and then do the work. All right, everybody. Um, feet is blowing up with happy birthday to Ray Ray. Um, Lel says youngest of the gangi. <laughs> I love it. All right, everyone. Oh, let's take a quick picture. Sorry, I should have, I should have caught. Did anybody darn? I should have caught the happy birthday song. Nah, I was, I was yelling, screaming, singing too much. Um, let's go ahead and take a picture. Last call for 2020. What the heckity heck? <laughs> you got it, Dylan. I love it. Rock the titabun, girl. Rock it. At least you're here. Why did my phone just like, oh my God, my phone just died. Kate, can you take the picture, please? I was like, why did it go black? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, smile, everyone. Bye. One, two, three. Yay, 2022. Can't wait for you. <laughs> Last call for 2021 says not. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for showing up for yourselves, for your businesses, for your community, for your learning. Thanks for sticking it out with us. We lost a few people tonight and we kind of knew that was going to happen. If you got my text earlier tonight, it asked people to be really honest about whether or not they really are committed to doing this business as a builder, a sharer. And if not, and they just want to be a customer to let me know. And I had about three or four people say, yeah, I it's, you know, it's not for me. I'm moving in another direction. And that is fine. We are here to meet everybody where they're at. But those of you that stayed on for this call, show your commitment and your wanting and willingness to be here. And we're here to support you. And the tools are here and the love is here and the community is here. So let's go out and continue to share our amazing oils with people. Because listen, if we haven't been saying it loud enough for the last two years, everybody needs what we have. Everybody needs what we have. Our products, our oils, and our love. Have a great night, everybody. See you next week. Bye.